name is Kevin Hodgkinson, and uh, I'm a, an executive chef here for Airmark at the Kowalczyk Center of IEP. My duties mainly consist of catering within this building, but to all areas of the university, and sometimes we travel outside the university. Today's uh, event is a reception. It's for about 350 people. Hello, my name is Joshua Zimmerman. Tonight's menu we're featuring chef prepared Louisiana style crab cakes with zesty coleslaw, alongside steak Diane with a chef prepared wine sauce and green peppercorn reduction. And then we also have creme brulee and a antipasta display. Uh, hi there. Uh, today we're working on the Ox Nest, which is typically a pregame reception for uh, the alumni. College, it, uh, you know, usually before a football game. But today's theme, uh, we're doing mostly German Oktoberfest menu. We have uh, schnitzel made to order. A lot of chefs cooking here. Full uh, slab uh, bacon, a German breakfast, some different pastries, a Black Forest tribal things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty casual event where you know everybody sort of mingles and has a good time, and then they go off to the game. Aramark's the second biggest food service company in the world, and I've learned a lot in my years that I've been with Aramark. I like to go out and meet all my customers, and I really enjoy cooking for anybody that like truly appreciates it. And you know, I'll tailor. I, you know, I cater to anyone. It looks like we're in catering, so I like pretty much cater to everyone's needs, no matter. Like 10,000 to 15,000 people served in a week. I think the Airmark campus overall is like, uh, in their figures, I'm gonna say it's like 200,000 meals a week. They I told him, I, you know, I, like, I, I, like, there's a lot of kids that go to school here now, and I say, you know what, you shouldn't go to culinary. You should go to school for business. And you could go to someone, they'll teach you to cook. Like, I, I teach guys, you know, I have people that are, like, good uh, at their job, and maybe they cooked at, like, a restaurant in town or whatever. And I tell them, you know, don't go to culinary, I'll just tell you everything. That's every day I'll tell them something new about mother sauces or, you know, food safety. Vodic Center of actually we're trying to get more outside business so you know we've had some weddings here you know and then I'm hoping that the sales department will push more to the public. This is my first executive chef job so this is like eight years here. I've even been in the industry for like 20 some years. It says like 16 years old. You know what there's no typical day as a chef. I mean things change especially in our business. It's constantly changing. No, my job really is to, number one, make sure that uh, we serve the customer as best we can. The Airmark's a pretty well-known company. Actually, the, I worked for Hilton for 14 years, and it was privately owned, and it was actually going to go bankrupt. And my, my whole family worked there, you know. Well, I thought I'd be there forever. So when my chef at the time, he asked me to come to Airmark with him and we like researched the company. A lot of planning, a lot of planning and then there's always got to be backup plan B, C and D, you know. But, uh, you know, just make sure that the staff um, knowing the facilities we have to work with, a lot of times we have to travel somewhere, do part of the preparation here and part of the preparation there. Um, and, you know, try to think of any unforeseen circumstances, like making sure that we have gas in the truck, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, all the equipment to service the event properly, and also keep the food safe, maintain all the temperatures, and What I tell people all the time, like every time I do an event, I'm still, I still go out there and look nice. Like I can't believe I just pulled this off. 